Greetings everyone, and great here of another Road 3 replay. Spawn on the top right side as our red allies. We have Prince. Spawn on the bottom left side as the Green Empire. We have Bestie Kaz Antro. Of course, got instant generator from now on field. Instant, do instant dojos now being employed on out as well. Of course, we do got a power plant here, and I believe he's been usually been going fast airfield from the previous replays he sent me. So, and he is like going fast airfield as well. You now have this airfield now pour down the field over here. We do got the instant dojo trying to claim this oil derrick. This instant dojo is trying to claim this oil derrick as well. More power generators being pulled out of the field. You went for an extra one. First Vindicator out on the field. And the engineer needs to get inside the oil. Derek does claim the oil. Now Burst on supply field needs to land on top of one, one of these Vindicators to stop make, make it stop moving around. Mecha Bay could or could have been bombed there. And here comes the Burst Drone. Trying to get on top of the Vindicator there. Slow, greatly slowing down its movement speed there. Does pull out the guarding Defender Core there. Yeah, the oil deck has now been claimed. Does take out the Defender Core. More Defender Core is now being deployed on the field. And this Vindicator being greatly slowed down by that burst row. Maybe a good idea to sell off this Instant Dojo as well. This Instant Dojo has been sold off. And now the first row has gone down, but look, he went ahead and suicided himself. Or what people say nowadays, unalive themselves. Going for this instant generator there. Does throw in the low power as well. Paul does see a bit of fire damage there. Does not take out any of those uh, jet tangoos. And you can actually get an OP does not get on top of the Apollo there. To get on top of the Apollo could help him maintain get air superiority. More instant generators not being employed on the field. Does get some damage there. Force back the Vindicator this time being. Does get a good volley there as well. He could have some harassment onto the prospectors, however, they can be quickly bombed off because he knows the Vindicators have a still full bomb load because they didn't drop a single bomb there. Huh. I don't know why that Apollo just seemed to look a little bit weird there. The afterburner was constantly glowing. Let's find the Apollo there. Apollo does re-land. And now start harassing down this prospector. That was managed to escape on out of there. Your warrior advanced forward, getting inside this garrison to provide some good spawning, does go for a second airfield. Has not gone for a second refinement just yet, but we got a naval expansion for the allied player. Prospector has to do quite a bit of damage there, not being focused down, and that honorable discharge should be able to come out. Some of these uh, jet teams are starting to go down slow, losing too many of them. Does lose Apollo. Is it transform? Does not transform. Got a good number here, as well as the Fender Core up and going. The power player repacked up his PMC V and has redeployed it. And now let's go ahead and get some damage there on the instant generator. Do you know how this Apollo is pushing way forward, trying to find engagement? With the Defender Core there, uh, he's not properly uh, engaging. Only two of them are fighting the entire time, and does lose those two. There's another instant generator there. He's having a hard time getting any sort of air superiority.
Get tankers up starting push this way forward. We do now have the Apollo's advancing for the Oh, he could try to Zeus siding themselves on top of the airfield. Does transform there on top of the airfields. And does get the bomb there. Ooh, loses one of the airfields. I wonder if he lost any aircraft on that. Okay, he wasn't really paying attention to that. But now he lost an airfield. He almost took out the other airfield as well, which could have destroyed all those uh uh Mega Tangus. Takes out the garrison there. Doesn't get a bonsite charge there. Oh no, he actually gets a kill there on the Peacekeeper as well. And finishes them off now. The Apollos, some of the Apollos are starting to go down. He did lose one of the uh, Jet Tangus. Does both oil derricks there. Has now the fourth expansion. The Empire player just not expanding out all properly. Now he has his own extra expansion there. The Ally player looks like he still had a lot of credits right now. Maintaining good income there. Has the second airfield. The Empire player doesn't really have a whole lot of uh, money at the moment, does he? It's acting a little bit slow. As point defense drones, has them in the using depth. Point defense drones could be very handy in helping gain with these uh, Vindicators. Does take up that power plant as well, putting this low power. Starting to claim this oil derrick now. And now we do have another generator being pulled on out. All's coming in, or Vindicator's coming in for another bombing run. You now have some Striker VXs out on the field. You hear a Cryo Blast there. Finds some shots there on the Apollos. Does take out one of the Apollos there. Puts some low power once again. He actually does save the Ore Collector. I think he got the point defense drone up and going right before the bomb actually hit after the Breeze effect there, because you see half health. So he saved the, sh the orc from being shattered there. It does recover now. It's currently still chill. Needs to get anti aircraft mode as well. And now it's in anti aircraft mode. It does transform in time. Needs to fall back to his uh, anti aircraft battery there. Loses that one track of the exit. It's kind of brave out of the fire there. It does take up the guard defender core there as well. It does take out another Apollo. Another power generator being flown field, and actually does actually save the Defender Core, apparently. War Striker VX is being deployed on the field. Of course, we've got the heightened security clearance. And does quickly freeze down that cryocopter. Get out, get out! And it does trick down one of the uh, Striker VXs there, and the Apollos were not being properly marked whatsoever. One of the Striker VX is still alive, sending a lot of damage on the Prowlcopter. Now it does get frozen down there. The Orcopter looks like has recovered. Now we've got a single Tsunami Tank deployed on the field. Nice allied airs, or a little bit oppressive, honestly. The Empire players just simply couldn't get into the game. I think if it's going for, eh, I was saying maybe going for Defender Cores, but he's been having to maintain rebuild his power plants the entire time. We're under fire! Does take out one of the crowd coppers there. We've got the Striker VX is engaging as well. Takes out another crowd copter as well. He's starting to lose a large number of these crowd coppers there. The refinery does go down now. He's starting to take out a lot of these air forces. And the Pauls are getting hit as well. We do not have a uh, defense bureau there. He may be aiming for a chronosphere. Is this a prison tower or a chronosphere? Probably a chronosphere. Who on earth will ever go prison towers? Now I got the chopper VX is advancing forward. The opposite fish post has been claimed by the Empire player. Uh, I think MCV may have been sold off for some credits. I don't see MCV that he may have sold off the MCV for credits, and this is where the engineer went, right in the observation post. Let's get some good damage there with his striker VXs there. Maybe trying to I have to camp the airfield, but there's so many crowd copters there they can shrink them all down 
and then freeze him down quite easily. Does get some damage on the Prowlcopters. Motogon and Turret does fire some shots there. And there's come the Chronosphere. Nice forms a couple of them there, trying to get some damage there on the power plant. And that does put him low power himself. Drinks down all the ground based ones. And now got the Apollos firing away. Trek VX's. Shock VX do get shot down. Shock VX's are currently frozen. Gotta press Shock uh, VX on the ground. So I don't think Disney's hard advancing on forward. Does that get that one shrunk it down there? More Shock VX is pushing way forward. And there, soon tank has been frozen. It does get the transform there. And advanced fours, reverse moves away. Seizure warning. And does get gunned down. Tracking BX is now trying to fire away. His missile rate is very slow and chilled. I'll need assistance. And all these ground for have been frozen. It's a good bomb runs there. The hair is seeing some damage now. I'm trying to freeze down this one there. It does get chilled before being taken off. And the chilled effect there makes it much slower. Let's take out the Chopper VX now. This one's very much frozen. All wow, these cryocopters are seeing much needed repairs. The arms are spread out quite evenly. Got some a lot of vectors in the on these Vindicators as well. More Striker VX is now being pulled on the field. And now the observation post may get frozen once again. There is a freeze effect there. And a little bit overkill there with the bombs. I think it dropped two out of three bombs. Now some of these power plants are being frozen on down. Can't lose too many power plants. Also going low power state. And there's a low power state there. Doesn't have a peacekeeper on the ground to freeze up, destroy all this stuff. Both power plants goes down and they've got a triple kill there. Doesn't need to worry about freezing down the rest of the defender core because it is already low in power. Could sell off the Defender Core up here, and I think that will get this Defender Core up and firing. Red could push on forward. Chronos Sphere is almost off cooldown, it does have the uh, Proton Collider there. Here comes the Vindicators. They may be trying to bomb this Defender Core. Or the Oral Derek. Okay, he has the two extra spare Ore Collector there. Has a good number of Shark VXs here. And he's low on power there. I think something off one of those multi-counter turrets will get enough power. Hard for me to say though. Most of is not avail available, but and he can go oh, ahead and it. quickly grab all these uh striker VXs and throws them out to sea. There's a cryo blast there. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. And all that's now frozen. So we got a single Trucker VX here, getting some damage on him, but the Vindicator should be able to finish off everything. And that's the end of the replay. This is Anna Great saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.